The Saturday morning newspaper headline already out, Carnage in Paris. ABC's Louise DeWast is on the ground in Paris for us tonight. She was steps away from the theater where we now know of those hundreds who were held hostage and of the toll inside the theater. Here's her report. The Vatican concert hall packed an American rock band, Eagles of Death Metal, performing inside. The report started streaming in around 10 o'clock evening local time, and those concert goers held hostage before authorities killed the gunmen. More than a dozen ambulances racing to the scene as troops stormed into the theater, a series of explosions flying out. <laughs> authorities with guns raised using cars as shelter, and when the ambush was over, those who were safe filing out with their arms above their heads. Michael Doria recounted what his brother, a member of the band that had been performing, told him about the attack. 1,500 people was, Julian said, was about the capacity of the venue. There was a door, I guess, uh, back of the stage that led to a street, and they flew out the back door. Outside, dozens taking refuge at a nearby cafe, some bloodied from the attack. And Louise, we know you're on the phone with us now. You've been held back by a couple of blocks because of the security operation. But you were there when you heard those initial explosions, what sounded like explosions as SWAT teams moved in? Yes, uh, we heard about 12 loud bangs, uh, which we believe were probably gunshots. Uh, and shortly after, uh, ambulances uh, rushed towards the theater. Uh, and I was able to to move uh, a bit later on uh, with following some of the security forces um and i was i came next to the cafe and i'm here right now uh, where about dozens of uh, uh people who were evacuated uh were, were being taken care uh, of from nurses and doctors uh, and they are going to be shortly taken to a hospital uh, in central paris um, after this tragedy that unfolded tonight Louise Duast with us from Paris. Louise, thank you. And as Louise just reported there, that cafe turned into a makeshift hospital. All hospital workers across Paris have been called to work this evening.